All right. Finally, the big day is here. After months of preparation, the first exam of the season is here. And uh, you need to do very well to ensure that the season of the entrance test goes on uh, in your favor. A few tips day before the exam and on the day of the exam. That is what we are going to focus on. So day before the exam, do not take on heavy load. Like for example, don't take up a full length grant test because it will be both physically as well as mentally draining. That doesn't mean that you switch off from academics totally. Take up small exercises, revise your important formulae, uh, take up individual problems, keep yourself busy, but don't, don't take on a heavy load. But more important than that, eat healthy, eat, eat safe, and rest. The sleep should be normal, adequate. So do not try uh, last minute cramming of uh, chemistry, formulae, etc. late into the night. Don't do that. You need to get your normal, adequate sleep. And on the day of the exam, the day of the exam, take it as any other day. Do not uh, take it as something special because that will add to your pressure. So let the pressure be minimized. So do not uh, uh, do anything extraordinary on that particular day. So wake up as per your normal schedule. And here, a note of caution for parents because parents would like to shower all their love and affection on that particular day by creating a lot of fuss in, uh, in, at home before the student leaves for the examination center. Don't do that because everything that you do other than normal on that particular day will create pressure on the boy. So whatever, if you, for, for example, if you want to say a prayer or you want to do a puja or whatever, do it yourself silently. Don't involve the child. I remember one of our students, uh, uh, he did puja for his admit card, left the admit card in the puja room. The entire family got into the car and came to the examination center. And at the examination center, they realized that the admit card was left in the puja room. So don't do such things. Also, all along the route, nowadays it has become fashionable for the entire family to travel along with the child, uh, creating more pressure on the kid. And along the, along the way, there will be all the relatives, nanas, nannies, mamas, mommies, uh, calling and conveying best wishes, etc., etc. Rather than creating more confidence, the child will be made to realize that this is a big occasion and he needs to perform. So don't do any of such things. Avoid giving last minute advice to your child. Take it as another grand test that he is taking at the institution. Here he is writing a grant test at a different venue. That is all. So the parents have to be careful about this. Now, as far as the student is concerned, once you land up at the examination center, uh, and again, before you land up at the examination center, do a checklist of what are the things that you need to carry. We made a special video in terms of last day, exam day instructions. Please go through that video. And once you land up at the examination center, if you meet any of your friends, don't get into a discussion about your preparation and trends and discuss about previous slots and all that because all that is going to add to your pressure. So do not do any of these discussions with your friends. Just concentrate on what you know. Focus on what you know. Do not focus on what you do not know. For example, the other day uh, a student asked me, sir, I left this chapter, I left that chapter. What am I going to do? Answer to all of these things is that focus on what you know. Your objective on this particular day is to maximize your score on the basis of the efforts that you've put in and on the basis of your skills and expertise. That is it. Okay. So you have to maximize your score. That is important. So do not focus on things which are not under your control. Just leave it. Okay. And once at the examination center, get into the examination hall at the first available opportunity. So don't wait uh, for, for the last minute. Yeah, keep chit chatting with your friends and relatives and your family and then walk into the examination hall at the last minute. Don't do that. Get into the examination hall as soon as possible because you need to get used to the ambience there. You need to get used to the environment there. You need some time to get adjusted. So get into the examination hall and stay cool there. Follow all the instructions, read the instructions, uh, whatever instructions are given, just read them carefully. Okay, then 
once the exam starts stick to your plan whatever is your test taking strategy just stick to it if your test taking strategy says that you want to attempt chemistry first and you want to give 40 minutes to it just stick to it don't change the strategy today don't do it just follow your strategy and whatever be the nature of the paper do not panic that's the most important thing stay calm don't panic like for example you you start with chemistry which is your perhaps you have decided to start with chemistry and you find that the first five questions are tough don't panic normally panic reactions uh, what students would do is start off with uh, other uh, sections chemistry stuff then get into maths maths stuff then get into physics or randomly going after each question etc etc so don't do such things another typical panic uh, reaction is to guess wildly so don't do that also so stick to your plan whatever is your plan just follow that time tested plan in terms of ordering of sections in terms of the time that you need to give to each section all right basically every question that you read there are three decisions that you have to make one the question is uh, easy or you know how to answer it and it is not going to take too much time answer it immediately two the question you know how to solve it but it is going to take too much time or the question is vaguely familiar you need to spend some more time to answer that question mark for review so use the mark for review intelligently and three you have no clue about the question just forget it and move on don't get emotionally attached to any particular question say for example uh, you 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 find that you are very strong at mechanics and you see a question from mechanics and you're not able to solve it so don't take it as a challenge and uh, don't take it as a test of your ego just leave it you can't solve it you don't know how to solve it just move on go to the next question be absolutely professional in test taking don't get emotional at any point of time so the the key to the whole thing is avoid negative marks because lot of students uh, try to make up for their deficiencies by doing some wild guessing and thereby rack up a lot of negative marks they answer about uh, 40 45 questions and get about 20 25 negative marks lot of hard earned marks you lose by this wild guessing and say for example you are used to answering typically 60 to 70 questions and on that particular day because the paper is tough you are not able to answer more than 50 questions so what do you what do you do just stick to it most students what they do is because they are used to answering more than 60 questions they start doing a whole lot of wild guessing and thereby what happens is they get a lot of negative marks remember what is important is not raw scores what is important is percentile so what is important is how you have performed in relation to the other students so if it is tough for you it is going to be tough for everybody so when the paper is tough even a relatively low score will fetch you a higher percentile so be careful about it and as i told you stay calm under all circumstances like for example the computer may not work uh, there may be suddenly a problem and it may conk off don't panic just raise your hand call the invigilator and he will arrange to replace the computer and while the computer is being replaced use the time to work on the previous problem because you got bonus time and the new computer the exam will start exactly where you left in the old computer so don't bother about it stay calm so these things happen and while the exam is going on don't look at what the others are doing because you find that uh, a neighbor is furiously answering questions whereas you are not able to answer even one question in the first 15 minutes that is going to lead a lot of pressure so during the examination hall you should bother about yourself your paper your computer just filter out the noise around you just concentrate on the paper at hand okay then use the blank paper smartly because what happens is in case there is a calculation error etc you need to go back to your working to see what went wrong so a lot of students write scribble indiscriminately all over the blank sheets so use the blank sheets uh, smartly so that you can go back and check your answers in case of a calculation error so do that and uh, 
believe in yourself and your preparation that is very very important miracles don't happen but you you should perform to your potential or slightly above your potential but for that you need to stay focused you need to have confidence in yourself and you need to have confidence in your preparation so that is the most important thing as far as the exam is concerned and finally remember this is the first attempt there are other attempts so nothing much is going to happen even if you don't perform well on that particular day but having said that let me tell you that your first attempt should be the best attempt so take it seriously don't take it as a mock test some people are thinking that i will take the february attempt as a mock test and i will focus on march april may etc don't do that take this test do your best take it as a serious test not not as a mock test finally uh, stay calm have confidence in yourself and do the very best uh, all the best for your february slot